And that I haven't planned for that. The original fantasy turned reality, and though it would be the gayest fuck ever, is that really what the designers had in mind? <laughs> Wasn't it supposed to be more about true liberation, or our bodies are wired for pleasure, so how can we deny LGBT people their rights how masturbation is normal, and sex education is for parents as much as it is for children? And of course, it's all about consenting adults. But you have to understand that I think about these issues all the time. Well, at least for the last three months. See, I've been working at the lab, and I mean, for a religion that's focused on science and pleasure, I sure had a shit ton of major morality issues come up, and not black and white, right and wrong issues, like real spiritual issues. Thinking about that new tantric love seat in Ikean again, aren't you? Buddy, my only friend at this job says as he plops his protein shake next to me at my lab station. You know we're not supposed to have food in here, I begin. Oh, fiddle faddle, rules are so 20th century, he says. Besides, it's nicely concealed in this lab container. What the fuck is wrong with you, I panic. You can't put that in a lab container. What if, what if it gets confused and I create a perfect little protein shake baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if that happened, I would definitely treat myself to that tangerine love seat at Ikea. Definitely. <laughs> he takes a huge gulp of the shake. Don't worry, he says. I got rid of the evidence, he sings. You truly are my favorite little queenie. You know it, girl. And anyways, were you really thinking about the tangerine love scene at Ikea? Damn it, no, back in trial, I wasn't. Okay. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, you let me know. Until then, I leave you to your work. Well, buddy, I, I was thinking about something. Uh, slip out with me right now. We leave the lab, go out the building, and around the corner to a juice bar. After being friends for six months, I finally tell Buddy my entire truth for coming here. Oh, my science, he says. I can't believe you still wear thongs. Did you hear the important part of my tale? Especially the part about my secret gay agenda? Of course I did. But seriously, thongs? That's really 1992. Buddy, okay, okay, but here's the thing, kid. How is this an agenda? Don't get me wrong, wanting to fuck yourself is absolutely the gayest thing I have ever heard, trust me. And going so far as to get a job here for that process? Hell okay. But how is that an agenda? And importantly, how the hell do you expect to get into Dr. BG's secret creation chamber? You know that shit is the government operated, supposedly whatever, whatever, linked to the designers. It's a secret gay agenda because I'm gay and it's my agenda. <laughs> okay, it's actually not really a secret or gay or an agenda, it's more. And I take a swig of my wheatgrass, and I say, I have to stop Dr. Bijou. This entire operation is just wrong. It's morally wrong to do this to people. You can't play God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put the brakes on your roller skate, sister. God? You know you can't talk about God anymore. Well, it's not you can't talk about God. It's just, well, the designers prove that you know, there is no God. Just the designers. And prophets, and science. And there's only science, sweetie. Please, we've worked so hard to get this God thing out of here. It's not okay, buddy. I shouted, none of it's okay, and what they're doing, eventually it's gonna get ugly. That's what was great about the God thing. Some things are meant to be a mystery and aren't meant to be controlled and cooked up in a lab. Look, it's one thing to make a baby Jane, but exact replicas, you can't argue with the designer, sweetie. Buddy said, putting his hand on mine and lowering his voice. Seriously, what do you think you're going to prove? I don't know, maybe nothing. Look, I just wanna fuck myself. Oh. <laughs> I'll do it for a tangerine love seat from Ikea and nothing else. Done. We decide to go through with the break-in two days later. But I said we should first sleep on it, then go to a love-in, then a seminar, and then decide. So we did. And after two days of <laughs> anonymous, unadulterated sex, I think he just wanted to make sure I fully understood how great things were now. Which I do. I mean, I'm really glad that all the right-wing Christian bullshit is a thing of the past, but Clonopoly, they're getting out of control, and let's face it, I'm still a little shallow. I still want to fuck myself. At least once. The thing about the future, it's not really that hard to break in anywhere. There's so much trust, and since there's no more war and violence, people don't assume the worst anymore. I mean, if we were really to get caught, we would probably come up with some dumb explanation, but this was different. This was the first time Clonopoly came up, uh, excuse me, this was the first time since Clonopoly came about that people weren't allowed to see and know everything. And the first time the government stepped in and maintained a secret project and the designers might even be expecting us. I mean, I would. But we broke in anyway. Ooh, Buddy said, I guess in 1983, I'll break in style. Why 1983? I don't know. I just figured if I was going to be a criminal, I'd want it to be 1983. Fuck, girl, New York City, of course. <laughs> it just sounds dangerous, okay? Okay, okay, you can have a little A's moment. Come on, I made a copy of Dr. BG's passcode. How could you do that? You know it's all DNA encrypted. I got some of her DNA off of 
of a juice cup, okay? You sound a little too experienced at this. Just come on. And Buddy kept a lookout while I used Doc's DNA again, said the chamber. This feels too easy, Buddy said. I walked in and there was a machine that looked like one of those teleporter gates from the old Star Trek TV show. I'm going inside it, I said. Wait, are you sure you want to do that? Buddy's voice trilled off, and as I entered the teleporter gate and turned what looked like a switch to the on position, lights came on, the teleporter thing shook, and then it started to spin around really fast. And I turned banging on it, hoping Buddy would come in and get me the fuck out of there, but the door chamber had been shut behind me, and he didn't have a Doc's DNA code. And I kept spinning and spinning, and I felt a couple sharp pricks to my temple and my navel, and then finally it stopped. The door to the teleporter thingy stopped, and it opened, and I stepped out, and I felt a little dizzy, and I saw that there was this door behind it, and I opened it, and, and it was me. Hey, I said. Hey, I said back. And it was an exact replica of me, an exact clone of me, but exact, not a baby Jane, a regular adult me. And before I could stop myself, the question just came out, wanna fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I said. <laughs> I know that sounded really abrupt, but could we? I mean, we could just do it really quick and dirty. <laughs> I realized it wasn't the fuck I'd been imagining in the alley or the intriguing Craigslist ad, but I was pressed for time. And Buddy was banging on the chamber door. I wasn't sure what the fuck was going to happen. This might be my only chance. I'm sorry, but... I'm not into girls. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said. I'm not into girls. I, my replica, repeated. I mean, you're smoking hot, and I love queer people, but I'm not into girls. I'm straight. Fuck! <laughs> no wonder this was such a fucking secret. That's it. That's why they kept it this thing so under wraps. The designers, they gave them science to create exact replicas, but not the science to transfer memory or personality or thoughts. And that's why this is a secret. That's where science, at least on Earth, doesn't solve everything. That's the mystery. Are you in there fucking yourself? But he said, banging on the door. Yes, but we're about to get some company, girl. Hurry up and climb back, bitch, because we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> where are you going, the replica said. Look, I'm not even supposed to be here. You're not even supposed to be here. But I am. I'm here. Are you mad because I don't want to have sex with you? I mean, if it means that much to you, I'll totally do it. No, no, it's okay. Surprising, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, sister! Buddy shouted outside the door. I could hear footsteps coming. Suddenly, I didn't know what I was doing anymore. I went from wanting to fuck myself to wanting to stop Dr. Bijou because of some weird moral trip I was on, thinking that humanity was being given too much freedom and too much knowledge, but the truth was, I didn't have to. Dr. Bijou hadn't really discovered anything or made any new progress. The designers, the aliens, didn't give it to her. They knew we weren't ready, or maybe, maybe they just knew that we, as their creations, didn't need to know that a little mystery is good for us. I gotta run, I said. Sorry if I came on too strong. Oh, it's cool. Sorry I'm straight. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pray that you make it out of here, okay? You'll do what? I'll pray. And that's when I opened the chamber door and Buddy and I slipped out the back window onto the street. Woo!